Five Tips to Become a Professional PCB Designer in 2026. In this video, I'm going to share about the five practical tips with the executable examples so that you can learn and accelerate your career in PCB industry for 2026. So let's get started. Tip number one, start designing complex boards. If you are a beginner, then you try to design two layer boards or maybe a little more extra components on the design activity that you have tried so far. So that you will understand how exactly the industrial products are designed and also how the things are designed in practical world. If you are already having a one or two years of experience in industry, then try working on the four layer boards or more than that as per your comfort. Multi-layer PCB designing is a vital skill in coming days and also understanding how layer stackup works and how to configure your EDA tools settings with respect to multi-layer design is a vital information and a very good skills to have in IoT industry and PCB design industry. Not only limiting to the 4 layer or a 6 layer, you can also increase the number of components used in your design activity. Instead of using a 50 to 60 components per design, just you can increase the number of components based on the application and based on the requirement, logically it should be correct as well, and increase the number of components to 100 components and more than that, just to explore how to manage the component placement and component activity on the PCB layout. In the urge of designing multi-layer PCBs and multiple components on the PCB, you should not forget to design for the real-time application. Try to understand the problem statements, try to address the higher level of problem statements, thereby understanding and using the multi-layer architecture and also high-density board architecture in the design activity is the right way to do it. If you design any PCB which cannot be used for real-time application but it has 4 layers or 6 layers and also more than hundreds of components, it's of no use for fabrication. So make sure that you understand the real-time application of your design and try to work on those design activities. Tip number 2 is working with wireless modules. In current generation with the IoT and industrial IoT technologies, Every device and every machine is connected to every machine, which is also true with respect to cloud architecture. So that's why every embedded system is having a one or other way of wireless communication nowadays. That's why you should make sure that you are equipped with the wireless communication and wireless modules in your design engineering. Learning how to deal with the antennas and antenna placements on the PCB is also one of the IPC standard with respect to wireless modules. So understanding the IPC standards and understanding how to place antennas based on these, their radiation pattern and their behavior and their gain, activity, all that thing, it is a vital skill for every PCB designer in case of industrial product design engineering. If you are really interested and want to grow your skills a little more faster than what we are talking today, and you are also having a certain experience with respect to dealing with the onboard chip antennas or modular antennas or strip antennas, then go for designing antennas by yourself. By using the BNE SOCs, try to design your own BNE antennas, inverted F antennas and some other principles are there where you can design your own antennas on the PCBs with a multi-layer board design engineering and try to fabricate them and understand how they behave in real time. Not to forget, dealing with the GSM module and a GPS module, GPRS modules are another vital skill in case of IoT design engineering. Especially nowadays, every device is having a wireless connectivity and they require a long range wireless connectivity. In that case, LoRa modules, GSM module and GPRS modules are more widely used in most of the application. So understanding how these 4G LTE technology works and 4G cellular technology works with respect to antenna design on the PCB designing is also one more added skill that you have to acquire in 2026. Tip number three is to explore other EDA tools. Electronic design automation is not only limited to the PCB designing, but also it is limited to the industry-wide features. If you are considering the easy EDA as an open source and as a free tool, then you have learned so many things with respect to practical design engineering. But if you jump to the next level tools, which are much better than easy EDA, for example, KiCad, then you will be learning a lot of things completely different from easy EDA. But fundamentals will be remaining same. 
that's why understand how other eda tools are used in industry thereby you will learn some skills which are not available in your current eda tool this particular skill is very important in case you are switching from one industry to another industry where they want you to know about other eda tool rather than using the one which you have used so far so having a knowledge with respect to open source multiple eda tools or licensed multiple eda tools or combination of both of them is always a added advantage in your career growth with respect to pcb designing tip number 4 is to integrating ai tools in your design engineering nowadays everybody is using ai for most of the things that we do in day to day life using ai tools as a assistive tools for your design engineering always help you to reduce stress on your work and make you more productive and more creative in design engineering a special note to everyone make sure that you use ai tools as a assistive tool but not as the final decision making tools why because these ai tools are not trained on the huge data with respect to pcb industry especially with respect to hardware designing that's why they are not going to give you the exact answer that you can trust and go and design for that make sure that you cross verify before trusting on them as a design engineer using a modern day tool like a chat gpt and a deep seek or maybe a manus will give you a lot of edge on reducing your work which is repetitive in designing activity for example considering which ic is better between two of them you can ask chat gpt with a proper prompt understanding how exactly these two components are similar and how to choose one among them Not only limited to the selection of the component you can also ask that chat gpt or any other tool to review your design in case that design is not confidential if you are practicing some project you can upload that schematic or pcb layout to these ai tools and ask them to rate your design in a various categories so that you will get to know how best designing you are doing with respect to pcb designing this kind of a evaluation and a self learning activities with the ai tools is going to help you to grow your career in pcb industry last but not least fifth tip is to go for manufacturing your pcbs because you have done a lot of designs and a lot of practice with respect to software believing everything is good and correct but when you go for manufacturing you enter into the new era or new room of understanding how the pcbs are fabricated the designator placement understanding the bill of material understanding the dfm activities and type of errors and type of practical problems that you can face with respect to fabricating your whole pcb will make you more stronger and more practically stronger with respect to pcb designing that's why try to pick up one particular application and make a design which is best for your possibilities and understand the cost effective fabrication methodologies for that and go for fabricating that particular pcb and also bring the components and assemble them on the pcb to make it working if you are also capable just do the programming of that particular pcb and make it working in your particular work area so that you can observe how exactly that product works for 24 bar 7 in case it is a general application by doing so you will understand how exactly these design engineering will be fabricated manufactured and installed in real time these are the five practical tips with the executable ideas with my 8 years of experience in pcb industry i hope you loved it and understood something new from this particular video we will be posting such kind of a practical learning skills on the pcb industry in linked frequency that's why subscribe to our channel and stay tuned let me know your thought process and if any other tips from your side in the comment section so that collectively we can start a conversation in this particular video see you again in the next video until then tune yourself to make a difference